Undaldu from the heartland of Zen. Near Aheji, where I live, I'm Undaldu. Formerly Michael J. Trout, CEO of Found Ups. I'm now just uh, a doist monk living in Japan. Pictured at the center is me and number 19. On 9 19 2019, Undaldu will meet 19. He is the founder of Laser Mapping, Mr. Hishikawa. And he's gifting me Natsukaze, the 2x4, the summer wind that's going to usher in the fifth age. If you're interested in learning more, reach out to me, joinfoundups.org. That's our Discord. What's a FoundUp? FoundUps are open, self forming, decentralized blockchain startups that launch as a day distributive autonomous entities or decentralized autonomous entities, which I'm going to talk about. And um, this is a call for creators. There are three kinds of participants in a found up. There are the creators, the collaborators, and the consumers. And right now, I'm looking for co-creators of found ups. So what are we doing? We're actually forking DESO into days. The DESO is the decentralized social into distributive autonomous um, entities or decentralized autonomous entities. There's two meanings. The, what's, what's interesting is that the logo of BitClout is of two stack days. So, um, and uh, I hope that we'll have the website ready to go and launch on 22.222, not too far in the, in the near future here. And I want you to imagine a world not built on selfish corporations and crony capitalism, but built on um, these decentralized autonomous entities or distributive autonomous entities, because all days connect one to another, as this image, image suggests. And days stemmed from my work from 2011, when Occupy Wall Street happened, I started rethinking what the corporation should look like, what I call decentralized autonomous or decentralized open corporations that were renamed by uh, Vitalik and the small planet team that I was, that was uh, collaborating with back in 2011-12 and they launched my work as DAO. So you think of me as the father of the DAO. It's my jizz that went into their idea and they launched the DAOs and the mother of days and this is what I'm launching as the foundation and beginning point of every DAO which is a day. Now what we're doing specifically is this we're taking this which is BitCloud and everything that is described in this diagram of mine from 2011 um, is what BitCloud is and I'll share it in, in a, a different slide and we're adding this we're adding dis distributive autonomous entities um, to it the stacking here I got the image I took my old original image this is actually from 2011 and I just stuck it on here right to show you what you're doing because Days beget days beget days beget days just as Microsoft and all these other organizations launch more and more and more. This is a hyperscaling um, community environment and days basically transform cronyism capitalism into what I call social beneficial capitalism. Um, and don't get confused with social meaning socialism. It's not. It's more like social media or, or, or um, decentralized social. So BitClout, Diamond Hands, reveals that basically social media is dead. That means LinkedIn, Facebook, all these entities, right? Twitter, um, are all. And he is correctly right, but with the day, it means capitalism is dead, as we know it, right? The cronyism capitalism. Because ultimately, if we launch, um, if, if, if we're launching basically entities that don't require any sort of VC or angel funds or are uh, self-funding, self-forming, self-organizing, um, and all of this can be done on the blockchain that that was created. So a little bit about BitClout. It came out in 2021. It started work in 2020, but actually launched in January 2021, um, and uh, it raised 200 million as a non-entity. That's very crucial because. Um, Days are non entities, right? They're kind of a DAO. They're the thing of it is the core of an onion that is the DAO, and the layers of that entity, right, are just like the layers of an onion. 
top Silicon Valley investors came in behind it. And, um, and here's what's really interesting. Over a course of, um, uh, they, they secured over uh, 5,000 Bitcoin through their application, through participation, right? Because people have to use Bitcoin. It's missing a DAO, or in this case, a day. Days become DAOs, but no DAOs are days. BitClout um, is really FoundUp's 2001 Open Innovation Framework, OIF, built on the blockchain. As I'll explain, here are the investors. Um, you can click on the link here and go to this page. Here is their Bit, their Bit uh, coin fund. This is Nader's fund. Imagine if this Bitcoin was sequestered, pays out a dividend to the community for their participation in the day. Now understand, this is the way we're doing it. You could structure the day not to do that, right? You could structure the day to do whatever you want, right? It's a smart contracts. But this is a selfless endeavor in the sense that we want to empower people. So imagine if on Facebook you received 80% of the net of the growth of the net revenue was shared back within the community for them building Facebook sharing participating right this is what the future applications are going to be like here am I you may say you don't look very mine this is uh, the mind zodiac prophecy hidden in plain sight that explains the fifth age and what's coming is here is the foundation of the fifth age is built on these blocks Here's Undaudu ushering it in. He's going to struggle to, for 12 years, it turns out. For 12 years, he's going to struggle. And uh, out of his head, this is why the band is touching his forehead and going around, is the blockchain or DAOs, right? Um, Ethereum being the first one right there. And on his back, staring out of his 19-inch monitor, there are the legs, is this kind of emotionless entity this noodle right that's going to manage it all and he's staring at Natsukaze the summer wind that's going to blow away the cronyism capitalism and usher in social beneficial capitalism and here I am <laughs> kind of posing as the same pose there's the first logo of found ups that's OIF he goes OIF the open innovation framework that is the blockchain right what you call the blockchain I described as OIF understanding I didn't have the engineering or I like to call Vitalik is my dressmaker um, he coded out the stitching and the seams I just described the dress and uh, here I am posing with Natsukaze the 2 by 4 that takes down everything so <coughs> as I said before everything in, in BitCloud basically I described in 2011 right so the idea is the Twitter handle here is a company as coin and code, or I like to call it Bitcoin as a platform, right? They do promote, right? This drives valuation, game mechanic, promote, reclout, right? On here, um, they don't have votes or follows or endorse or advise. You know, they don't have all these other metrics. All these other metrics are the same thing, and they have different weights. People come in, users, here they are, input their um, native. Now, it's free if they input their phone number. It's paid if they don't. They put in Bitcoin, or now there's other fiats. Here's the game mechanics that they have, which is you know a, about pump and dump. It's kind of a, kind of a, a cheesy game mechanic, but it's addictive. It's fun to watch yourself all of a sudden have this significant value from nothing, right? It's completely realistic in the sense of our unrealistic business model, but it's not realistic in the sense of where we're going. So the game mechanics, and and here is the fun. There's the Bitcoin, right? The four thousand Bitcoin. It's actually five thousand Bitcoin now. 200 million in funds and um, you know and uh, and the value right the valuation of the idea or this case that the twiddle handles right so they have a value to them nothing here unique everything and this is again why forking because they pretty much built what I described in 2011 and so you know th this is the actual document right this was going to be part of the patent I made public in 212 after sharing all my work with the founders of Ethereum I realized they were going to use my work you can think of this as also the you know the what they built was the you know the uh, the um, um, platform right the blockchain is a platform for dApps this is a description of dApps launching um, and and in here the yellow actually represents Ethereum 
right? The mashup, like here's your white paper, here's your roadmap, here's your tokens, here's your airdrops, here's the outcome of a DAO or, or a corporation, right? Um, on there. Um, and folks get paid out in their tokens, right? Issues tokens. So the white is the original stuff, the yellow is the stuff that I added. So you can see everything as described in the 2012 ICO craze. I just had different names for things. Um, is there. So this applies to the actual DAP that I built and shared with them in 2011. It also applies to the underground um, you know, philosophy. Here is actually a video, right? This is actually a video that I, that I, that I did um, mash up. You can click on it and watch it. This is from 2000, read here, this is from 2012. Um, the, after I shared all my work with Ethereum, I knew they were going to basically use it. So I put all my work in the Creative Commons, which was a tribute non, um, and on it. So, but it doesn't matter. People can still steal your user ideas and not give you credit for it regardless. Here's another mashup I did from 2012, just showing this diagram as it was on, on, on uh, Slide Rocket, the most dynamic slide presentation out there. I used to love Slide Rocket. It got acquired by... Um, uh, Everclear or Everslide or something, Clear Slide, Clear something. Um, but uh, this describes all the parts. Remember that idea validate passive crowdfunding, right? Is this is this is all that was built in BitCloud. This minimal viable is prototype, right? And that's the that's the genius of Nader. He could take this work here. And come up with this work and now they're doing diamond uh, diamond app and now they're trying to move down this way here right so I've kind of put them on notice that hey how much of my work are you going to steal right before it becomes a copyright violation right um, on it well you can name it different things but it's the same thing on there um, and uh, here is another view of what's hap what's happening right with these with these days is basically Bitcoin is very important because it's the Bitcoin standard and these days become Bitcoin standard and, and Michael um, Saylor did a great talk I should put it on here talking about the Bitcoin standard they decided to put all their assets all their fiat into into Bitcoin creating the Bitcoin standard so as these days produce they they, they sequester and hold Bitcoin they issue a native token right native back Bitcoin token that is redistributed. So in essence, we're taking Bitcoin from the few and redistributing it to the consumer and holding it, right, and paying out a dividend. So, um, and I just want you to imagine thousands of days sequestering Bitcoin issuing. What's going to happen is, is the amount of Bitcoin is going to be sequestered, the value of Bitcoin is going to go up, the dividend of this then goes up because if the value of your Bitcoin, when you, when you purchase it, because it tracks it, it knows what Bitcoin came in from your fiat, from your shit coin, whatever coming in there, um, is going to be issued. Our, our uh, native token, there's two tokens, there's the day token, which is the, which is the blockchain, and then there is the actual, right, then there is the actual native token, that the project is launched in our case is FUCs, right? That's paid back um, to the you know to the dividend, and they can use those FUCs to actually buy day tokens, or they could use it to buy a T-shirt or a pizza or anything else. Um, so, what are these entities? These distributive autonomous entities that kind of form a beneficial kiretsu. I think of it as a kernel. Right of the DAO, it's the starting point. There's there's no clutter, there's no governance, there's no bullshit. All it does is, you know, it says, hey, we're starting this project, we're going to store this Bitcoin. This Bitcoin then is going to issue a native token that's going to provide the means to launch the token and reward the, you know, reward the community. You may say, well, why don't you just issue the Bitcoin out? Because the Bitcoin is the store of value. It is the underwriting currency. Right, that's tied to a very specific amount. It's the most um, scarce asset, and by sequestering it, you're actually causing the value of this asset to go up. And by causing the value of the asset going, you're actually creating the value of the token that's underwriting because it's it's asset back to go up. So in essence, by doing it this way, you're you know you're you're basically generating uh, funds for the for the you know f for the found up. Um, in the same way 
Michael Saylor is doing for 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 uh, microsystems in storing the um, the Bitcoin, and then having it. And he's not planning to use it or sell it or anything else. It's just sitting there in store, right? He's just storing it, and uh, uh, he's you know, and I'm sure he can take a loan out against it. He can do all these different things. So he's liquid, right? He doesn't have to do anything with it. Um, and in this case, what the days do is they put out this na native back, you know, this uh, native token that's that's backed by Bitcoin to the stakeholders, which are the creators, the collaborators, and the consumers of the day. And 20% is kept um, for the development of more days um, and also the days itself via kind of a bouncy system. So I created this flow. I'm not a diagram person, so this needs to be reworked, you know, by someone who understands it. But, but basically, it's it's uh, it's the idea of, of uh, imagine if NFTs were backed by Bitcoin, because on on a net, on a on a day's platform, in a way, it would be. So that in in and I'm, we're building an NFT um, DAP. So the consumer basically gets the uh, you know uh, participates on a day. They sub they subscribe to a drop an NFT drop. All of the money going through this NFT drop right is tied to this NFT and it's linked through a smart contract through the through the uh, you know the bit uh, the the Bitcoin that is stored right called the Bitcoin Vault. Um, this has changed. It's not going to be a multi-sig wallet initially. Right? It should be. Um, it's going to be stored in escrow by a third party. I'm actually meeting with the attorneys about setting that up because I think that all the you know one of the problems with all these projects is that the Bitcoin gets stolen, right? And I want to set it up with a third party so investors come in and say, "Listen, we're going to hold your Bitcoin in escrow." A dividend and loans will be paid out in order to produce it, right? Your Bitcoin's still there. And then if shit goes south, you can always call on and get your money back because the money is never going to be used. So instead of using the money and spend the money, we gather the money and then take out a loan on, the, on that money, right? For the low interest loan, right? On the money um, via debt or let someone smarter than me figure that out. Um, and then if it, if we don't meet the milestones or if it comes out to be completely wrong, then you can, you know, you can get your money back as, you know, as agreed upon. Um, so here's another example of, of the, uh, the FoundUps coin or of Fuchs, Day's native token. We have the token on Polygon right now. This is the token we're going to fit in. The only way... Um, when um, when um, uh, when purchase is made, it issues it wraps Bitcoin, right, and it stores it the wrapped Bitcoin. So this has already been coded out um, as a test token. It's it's out there. Um, it mints FEC every time with wrapped Bitcoin. Now, the cool thing is that with the uh, Deso, they actually dealing with Bitcoin. So I'm not sure how they did the allocation or or their you know, doing that, I'm not a technical person, right? So we may be able to do both wrap Bitcoin on side chains like Ethereum, um, you know, Polygon and so on. And then we can do actual Bitcoin in, you know, um, you know, on the, um, you know, on the, on, you know, on other networks. So, and I've mentioned that before, it's pretty, so OPO day, right? It's uh, it's the day's version of an ICO, so it's it's endless. It ends when all the day tokens are distributed. We're looking at doing this in Singapore. Everything is converted into uh, Bitcoin and held in escrow by third party of the day. Um, there's a lot of fiduciary folks, so um, I also may look at a combination. So we have, you know, we have something for U.S. investors where we'll tie it to a DAO, maybe fiduciary fiduciary Wyoming Dow manages and oversees the management escrow of the day for the U.S. investors. So I'm meeting with attorneys in regards to setting all this up. Um, we're, you know, uh, powerless to remove the Bitcoin without 100% approval of the day token holders. So even though they're there, they can't, you know, the, the, the Wyoming Dow can't remove move the tokens. So the token holders would have to agree, like, hey, we want our money back, right? And at that point, it would it would give the the DAO managers the right to pursue and the return of it. 
no one who's a member of the DAO can hold the token, right? Of the Wyoming DAO, right? Can hold days. Um, and they oversee the, the distribution smart contract boarding, right? The majority of day holders must approve the changes for the distribution. So they may say, hey, we want to we want to burn it all, right? So um, and Bitcoin will trickle into days once the autonomous wallet features is added. So eventually all of all of the Bitcoin that's ex extended will go actually into the day and not be held by a third party. Um, but we need things where that Bitcoin can be invested, right? Can be allocated, can be used by financial vehicles, stuff like that. I'm not sure if that technology currently exists because no one is thinking about days. But as people think about days, then these things will, you know, will be created on behalf of the day. So I appreciate you watching. Let's connect. Um, you can join and connect with me on Founders. I hate doing, um, you know, um, and this is actually should be, should be, there's no www, you'll get a, a DNS, it's just befoundups.org, there's no www, my apologies there, that's a thing I need to fix. Um, connect uh, with me on LinkedIn, you can click on here, and here's me and with um, Mad Madman uh, Brad uh, Kersner, um, who offered to invest $5 million into Foundups back in 2016, but I ended up walking from the deal. Here I am with my dressmaker, right, who did the stitching and the, and the smart contracts and all the stuff that made uh, the blockchain possible. And there I am, the, the undowdo, saying hi to you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Take care now. Bye-bye. Um.